Hi, I'm Jason Porto, and I'm a screenwriter. I started writing as a, a way of escape from my upper middle class upbringing. Now through writing women, I, I've really come to understand them. Maybe even better than they understand themselves. The stories I gravitate towards usually start with a guy. You know, he's funny, he's complex, but something is missing from his life. And that's when I think, okay, it's time to write a strong, hot female character. Uh, who is she, you know? What does she want? What's her obstacle? Who cares? She is beautiful. And there's mystery behind her smile. You would be amazed what actresses can do with that. Take, for example, my movie, Misunderstood 25-Year-Old. Kevin is the kind of character who's, who's smart and sensitive, you know, creative genius type. Unfortunately, he's never heard of the talking heads. They any good? Yeah. I love to play them and dance alone in my room. I'm so weird. <laughs> wow, you're so different. Yeah, I guess I am. Your female characters, they can be anything, right? They can be busty lawyers or sexy engineers, right? Sultry best friends. Don't forget, women are people, not when they're old. Obviously. You want to give your female lead a twist. Add another layer. Take my film, Sexually Frustrated Husband Who's In Love With A Hot Young Girl. The twist with this character? She's in college. Oh, man. You are so sexy. I know, that's why I'm here. My wife is naggy and I don't love her anymore. I know. She really does suck. Hey, honey. You look so handsome today. It used to be fun. Yes? Mr. Porto, these women are also one-dimensional. Yeah, that is hard to hear. It is upsetting that you cannot see more than a pretty face in these characters. I find this offensive. You know what? I'm not even mad right now. I'm so grateful. This is such a teachable moment, you guys. Listen, right now, she's being the shrill best friend. Hear me out, you're gonna like this. The shrill best friend usually goes by an ugly name, like Deborah or Alice. We're gonna move back to the, the sexy engineer, because obviously somebody's not getting it. Please join me next time for a lecture on the Bechdel test. What it is, and why I frankly don't care. What I love about writing women in film is that once you can free yourself of stereotypes, you know, beauty, womanhood, you're really at a great place to write a very strong female character. You know, let me, let me just, I'm just gonna do one off the dome for you, okay? Let's, let's, let's see what happens. Emma, looks like a model, but man, can she crush a burger. Stacey Lynn, tough hipster chick, but she's really got a heart. Charlie. She's got a dude's name, and that's enough. Now don't forget, these are my ideas, so <laughs> I don't want to be seeing them at Sundance next year.